<laughs> guys, we'll do this as we always do. We'll let Coach start things out with a statement, and then we'll bring each one of these guys up to let you know what their decision is. You guys, just take a seat up here. Coach, you can go ahead and open. How's everybody today? Good, Coach. Good. Well, it's certainly um, the time of year when people have to make decisions about their future. Uh, we've got some young men here today that have done a, a fantastic job for the University of Alabama, not only in whatever they've been able to accomplish uh, on the field, uh, but the way they've represented the university, the football program, um, off the field as well. Uh, these guys have uh, had outstanding careers here, uh, winning two SEC championships and two national championships, and all these guys have made tremendous contribution um, to the team, uh, the team's success, uh, and the internal sort of leadership that goes with having championship type teams. Um, you know, we've had 25 guys go out early for the draft since 2009. 14 of them have been first round picks, eight of them have been second round picks, one guy was a third round pick. We had a couple other guys that, you know, philosophically we like for guys that are high draft picks, uh, first round draft picks. Um, from a business standpoint, uh, this is a good decision for them. Uh, we encourage them to uh, continue their education and make sure they do everything they can to graduate. And I think in this case, Bo and Ronnie can graduate in, in May. Uh, Mika probably in August. Um, I always encourage guys to stay in school. Uh, I know they have to look out for their professional career uh, in terms of how they got to get ready for the draft and the combine and all that. But uh, I can't say enough about the contribution that these guys have made. Um, just seems like yesterday we were in their houses recruiting them uh, and time goes by very quickly. Uh, but I can't tell them you or them, how much we appreciate the contribution that they made here. Two young men that aren't here today, Calvin made an announcement yesterday, which I think everybody is aware of, uh, couldn't, couldn't make it back today. And Deron Payne um, is also going to, you know, to put his name in, in for the draft, and uh, he, he cannot be here uh, as well. So um, with that, I'll let, let each one of these guys you know, come up uh, and sort of announce what their intentions are. Uh, but I also want these guys to know they're all, always a part of the family here. They're always welcome back. Uh, one of the things that makes me happiest about uh, our program here is how many guys come back. It gets a little crowded on the sidelines sometimes. Uh, and I always want to put them in the game. Uh, and I want to put these guys in the game someday too. So with that, I thank you. Okay. Thanks, Coach. We'll get started with Mika here. Oh, man. Um, so I just want to say all by uh, saying the past few years of my life have uh, definitely been the, the best years of my life at the University of Alabama. And uh, me and my family, we've been through a whole lot, a whole lot of highs and lows. And, um, as you know, we, um, we rebuilt re re our home, we rebuilt our lives, and centered our lives around Christ. And, and um, we've done, we've accomplished a lot together, a lot of things that not many people could say they accomplished as a family and as a unit. And um, we won, we won two national championships together, and um, I'm attending one of the greatest universities in, in the world. And uh, I've been coached by the coaches, uh, Coach Saban and the rest of the coaching staff, and I played with some of the greatest players like Bob and Ronnie. Um, and uh, you know, the last couple years, I, I've done a whole lot. I've, uh, I've been out of the country with the university. Uh, on the mission trip, spreading the word, and um, and we won national championships, SEC championships, and um, now after all that, I think uh, it's best for me and my family for me to pursue my career in the NFL, and um, you know it's a uh, it was an honor and a blessing to to be a part of this university, and um, you know I'm, I'm forever grateful, and y'all gave me a whole lot of love, a lot of appreciation, a lot of blessings, and um, I just want to say thank you, God bless, and all time. Thanks, Miko. Bob. Good afternoon. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank the university, the coaches, uh, Coach Sage, uh, the nutrition, the um, um, 
train that credit. And um, man, importantly, I want to thank the academics for helping me every way that they can. I want to thank Coach Sagan for putting me in a position that, I, that I'm in and um, trying to help me in every way that he could and become a man more off the field than on the field. And, um, and I think that he did a good job with that. And um, man, that is a better person more than, um, than an athlete. And uh, I just want to say that it's a blessing and I'll have to sit down and talk with my coaches and family that you know, I would like to answer the 2018 club. And um, I just want to say thank y'all. You know, the university meant so much to me with the tradition and the way how they do things here. They mean a lot to me. And um, I think that they did a lot for my family. And um, I just want to say forever roll tide and I'll be forever um, roll tide. And thank y'all. Thank you, Ronnie. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to start off by saying, uh, as a recruit, you know, coming out of high school, um, I wasn't too highly recruited or whatever. But um, just having the opportunity to come to Alabama and being able to play for championships and being able to play like around greatness, guys like Lou and me. And being able to be coached by Coach Saban and other coaches, coaching staff, you know, that's just a blessing for me. Um, it taught me a lot. It really uh, changed me as a man, inside and out. And um, after talking it over with my family and uh, my coaches, I've decided to enter the 2018 NFL Draft. Um, I just want to thank my mom, my brother, you know, all my family, just for their support, uh, my teammates. You know, I just want to thank them, thank them for making this so special these last three years. I want to thank Coach Sadam especially, and um, all of my position coaches, you know, just for molding me into the young man that I am today. And um, I just want to say real time for him. Thanks, Ronnie. Coach, thank you. That'll wrap things up, guys. We'll break these players out for you for seven or eight minutes to chat with them for a minute. But that'll wrap us up, Coach. Thanks. Okay. <coughs>